Hi traders, this is Forex Nelson. I'm back with another trade. This time I sold the Euro Dollar, six lots. I took a look at the 15 minutes along with the meter. Saw that we're in a downtrend right here. It's going down. Everything, all the three moving averages are looking good here. So from the 15 minutes, I went back to the five minutes. And on the five minutes, um, the three moving averages, everything is looking good according to my pip trigger rules. There's a few rules that you have to follow before you take the trade, along with the, the time within the blue box, which market is open. You, you have to know all of these different rules to be successful trading the Forex market, which as you well know is very difficult to do and of course in this general area I was waiting for a bit of a pullback and if I wanted to, I, I wanted to blow up this area go down to the one minute and this is the same area that I just showed you with those two candles so there's your pullback and then you got another trigger this red candle and this red candle this is why I got in now for this to be successful it has to break the bottom here which I'm expecting it to do this is the way you have to trade it's a game of probabilities and when you're really expecting something to happen according to all the different things and the rules that you have to follow so this was the pullback and of course if you want to do um, targets you can always throw on the Fibonacci the last pivot high go to the left to the pivot low which is right here and then of course once it breaks this bottom right here where it says target one once it breaks this then you're looking to get the target two and then target three there's my 20 pip stop 20 pip target which I can adjust this as the trade is moving along and of course if it really motors along all the way down to the AR it'll get between you know target six and target seven so anyhow we shall put this on pause and report back as the trade is moving along Forex Nelson is back took just a little bit of time not too long it's um, around let's see I got in at 5 to 9 and it's 944 now it went sideways for a while went up a little bit only about seven pips against me And what I'm going to do is put on the Fibonacci for targets as an example, show you what you can do. It already hit tar swing high to swing low. It already hit target two. Going on its way to target three. I'll move this a little bit out of the way. Very easy to do. Bring it down to target four. Leave it there for now doesn't mean that that's where I will take it or close it but everything's still looking good along with the meter as I said the Fibonacci is for you traders that love the Fibonacci I'm up over $900 at the moment for about 45 minutes work love the pip trigger and its customized indicators just to let you know these are not the standard indicators that you can find floating around on the web they've been all modified for for my pip trigger and makes the pip trigger work with a high degree of accuracy ADR is down here I'll just hang on tight for a while probably I'll start managing it shortly 
But anyhow, to keep this video a little bit on the short side, I'll pause it and report back shortly. Rex Nelson, I'm back again. I'm just going to manage this trade as I'm up right now close to 14 pips. I'll close out half my lots. So I did six. All you got to do is put in three here. Just hit the close button. And then what I'm going to do is move my stop to plus one pip. Approximately. Just so that if it comes back up here my trade is guaranteed on all six lots to be profitable. Now I can walk away from the computer and I'm in a risk-free trade. Still working on my way. I moved that out of the way by the way. Let me see. I put the Fibonacci back on. Swing high to swing low. Hit target two. Still working trying to get down to target three. Nothing is guaranteed in this. All you can do is manage a trade, which is exactly what I'm doing. Okay, I'll report back again shortly. Forex Nelson is back, and my trade, it just stopped me out on the Euro dollar. I did six lots altogether, and on the second one, it went back up. It was around less than one pip positive gave me twelve dollars plus on the first three lots gave me three hundred thirty three total of three hundred and forty five I'm happy with that another profitable day using the pip trigger and I'd rather uh, get stopped out with a small profit than turn a winning trade into a losing trade and this is the mentality that you have to have and the pip trigger will get you there as long as you know how to trade with the pip trigger. Anyhow, um, I'm going to do a couple more advanced training for my students who have picked up the pip trigger. And I'm going to wrap up this video. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you're interested in the pip trigger, look right below this video and you'll get my contact information and I'll show you a lot more advanced tips and tricks which will help your trading and if you're interested in the pip trigger we can talk about that also anyhow until the next trade good luck in your trading bye for now